Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm really glad that you're here. As you probably know, OpenAI a few days ago published the API for the chat GPT. So I received this email and here the model name is GPT 3.5 Turbo. I think most of you are waiting for this moment, so let's get started. For that, head over to the API page, go to the documentation, then let's go to the completion. Previously we used the models and the completion, so press here. And if you see here, it is the same base URL as we used before. And if you remember, we made this one as our chosen model. If you scroll down a bit, here for the chat, and you can directly press here on the chat, but I wanted to show it to you like that. So. If you read here, it says create a chat completion. And if you check this URL, it is different than the one we used before, which is this one. Before the completion, we have a chat. So let's get back. And now here we have this chat. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because the chat GPT, as I showed you, the email is made of... Uh, are relying on this model. So we need to use this model in our application and in order to use this model in our application, we need to use this URL here and it will be a post method. So here we have this example request. I know you probably, you don't know how to read it very well. So first we will test it in the postman and I will explain it. Then we will integrate it or add it to our code. So let's get started. For the URL, let's copy this one and then let's go to the postman and let's create a new request, paste it here. Be careful of the spaces at the beginning and it is a post method. Then let's add the authorization, which is the beer token. For me, I previously added, so it's fine. Now let's go to the body and I will go back to the browser and here for the body, um, it's going to be like that. Okay, and it's already found here. You can copy it from here also. Um, yeah, to not forget, also we need to add the content type and the authorization. Authorization, I already added it um, here for the bearer token, but in the header, we need to add the content type. Um, so let's copy the content type. And then here, Let's copy the application JSON. And then let's go to the body. And now let's copy the parameters like that. And then let's come back. And now you can paste it. Uh, it will be a row data. So paste it like that. And now we can send our request. Okay. So here the model name is a GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay. Which is the model represented here and there is another variant for it which is this one if i show you the email again here it is it says the new chat uh, api calls gpt 3.5 turbo and which is the same model that is being used for the chat gpt okay let's come back here and let's make our request and let's see what will happen perfect so i got a valid response and here we have the choices list and then we have the content here. And if we change, for example, this one, we can say, for example, hello, what is um, Flutter, let's say, and who are you? Okay, so let's send uh, a message. And then here we have Flutter is the definition of Flutter. And then let's go at the end. And here it says, I am a computer and he's talking about uh, himself. Okay, perfect. So now we need to integrate this code and our application. But before that we move on, I want to create another request where I will show you how we use the previous one, which is uh, for the text DaVinci 3. So we have this base URL and it is a post method. And for the authorization, we need to add the barrier token, which is I already added. For the header, we need to add the, um, just the same as here, we need to add the content type. Like that. 
and we add this one and for the body it's the raw data also but for now the raw data is also different here are the parameter which are, which are different than the other one okay so if we compare this one for example for the base url it is different for the raw data and uh, here we pass in the model name as a JSON. So we pass in the model name. Okay, we have it here. But then for the messages, we have it in a different way. So we have something called messages. Then it is a list. It has a role and it has a content. But previously we didn't have a role. We just have this prompt and that's it. We didn't have a messages. Okay. Now, what's cool about this CGPT is that we already have the role here. So instead of managing it in our code where we use zero for the user and one for the admin, we can directly check this role and we can check if it is the user or uh, the assistant. You can find it here, for example. And based on that, you can change the API of your application. So now let's get started and let's integrate it in our application. Um, better to not make this tutorial very big, so I'll split it into two on Udemy, but I'll keep it only one tutorial on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Hi everyone, and welcome back. So in the last tutorial, I showed you the new API and how can we use it using the Postman. And in this tutorial, we will integrate it in our application. So in order to do that, let's head over to our code. And uh, for that, let's go to the API service. And then what I will do is actually to keep uh, this function. So I will copy it and then I will paste it here. And then here I will say send message uh, using chat GPT API. And then for the send message, I will, I will use here uh, GPT at the end. For the required parameters, I will just keep it uh, as it is for now. For the base URL, of course, it is the same. For the completion, as I said, we have this chart, then completion. So I will just copy it and add it here, just like that. For the authorization, it is the same. Content type, it is also the same. I showed you in the last tutorial. And for the JSON code, as I showed you, it is different. So now we need to give it the model like that, which is we are already given it. But for the messages, it is different. So I will copy this. And then let's uh, go to our code again. And here for the model, it is the same. But let's delete this and paste our messages like that. For the role, it is user, of course. For the contents, here we need to send our message, which we were passing it already. Like that. We're not done yet, but we will be soon. So uh, when we get a response, here it is not choices, then text. Here we have choices and the response. And then we have message. Then we have the role and the content. So we will be reading first the message, then the content. So let's get back. So instead of text, we need to read the message. And after that, we need to read the content like that. OK, so we have this list of choices inside. We have this map or JSON, whatever you want to name it. Then we have this message inside of the list at the first index or at index i, let's say. Then inside of this message, we have another map where we have this key, content key, okay, in order to access the response. Now, let's get back. And that's it for now. This is all what you need to do in order to deal with the new API. Maybe you are wondering, how can we access these new models? It's simple. 
you can it is already available so if you open this here we have the gpt 3.5 turbo and we have the other one here here it is this one that uh, chat gpt is actually based on it so what left to do is actually that we need to use this function so what i'm gonna do is instead of using uh, this send message function now let's use this send message gpt function but of course later i want to keep both functions and of course you will see how we will manage it in this tutorial for that if you remember in the chat screen here for the send message fct function we were using the models or chat to a chat provider in order to send a message so here this function if i press on it it will take me here and then here in this function i'm using the send message function which is coming from the api service which is actually this function that i have copied okay so instead of this function let's use our new function and now restart the application and make sure that it is working and let's see what will happen so uh, for that let's try to send a message i will get an error okay and i guess you know why it's because we are using the text davinci 003 but this new url it works only with the gpt models so i will use this one and now if i try to send a message it should work here it is now it is working and as you can see the reply is just like the chat gpt perfect so now we need to keep using these two different methods and this is sample so if you noticed we have something similar with these two new models both of them starts with the gpt so what can we do is basically to check the message or the chosen model if it starts with the gpt so what i'm gonna do is to cut this and then here add an if statement and let's uh, check the chosen model and let's lowercase and here we check if it starts with gpt and you have this function here so you just say gpt so if this is the case i will paste my function here and if not we will use the main function that we created in previous tutorials now if i restart the application and test it again it should work with all the models so here uh, the text davinci 3 is the chosen model so let's say hello and send a message and here as you can see model id is this one text davinci 3 and uh, the response is kind of uh, weird and uh, the chosen model it shows here also and now if i choose the gpt3 turbo and say hello for example we'll get uh, a more reliable response um let's say who are you for example and uh yeah actually the response is more reliable than the one previously so for that let's make the gpt3 as the main model um so what we can do basically is to copy this one and for uh, instead of using the text of ng3 as the main model we can use the gpt so in order to make our chat gpt uh, i mean this model the main model we need to go to the models provider and in here we set the current model so i'll just comment it to not change anything for you and uh, let's add it here and then let's make the gpt3 uh, model as the main model okay so uh, let's restart the application and let's see what will happen press here and now here we have it the main model and um, let's ask him this question and let's see uh, okay um, yes it's based on the gpt3 model but uh, yes this is the api 
and this is the response so now everything is working with our application if you have uh, new ideas about the application please let me know and um, i might add a new tutorial on how to generate images using this api and uh, i might add uh, other techniques to this course or create a new course just let me know what you think um, i saw uh, many of you asked me to save the messages uh, locally so i might do this and please let me know in the comments uh, what you really want and if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask uh, i'll be more than happy to assist you and help you with that um, thank you for attending this course and uh, i'll see you in the next one